What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over how to use your top ranking pages in Google for content ideas. So this is part 10 of my SEO tutorial for beginners. I'm probably going to end up doing around 20 parts for this entire series and then I'm going to follow that up with a huge tutorial at the very end. So this is going to be a pretty simple lesson but when you start creating content you start seeing what's ranking for your website. What you're going to find is there's going to be some pages that stand out. So essentially what we're going to be doing is looking at those pages and how we can use what's currently ranking to find new content ideas to really grow our traffic. So we're going to need three tools to do this and the marketing tools we're going to need are Google Analytics, Google Search Console, and the Google Keyword Planner. All completely free, so just create a Google account if you haven't already. Make sure you have Google Analytics installed on your website. Make sure you have the Google Search Console installed on your website. And then the Google Keyword Planner is available for free through your Google Ads account. Even if you're not running ads, you can still use the Google Keyword Planner. It's just not going to give you as much data, but it's a completely free keyword research tool. So what we're going to be doing to get started is using Google Search Console first. So in Google Search Console, what we can do is I can open up data for my website, beachfrontdecor.com, and I'm looking at the last 12 months of data so you can see my total clicks and impressions over the last 12 months for this website. So you can see we're having some growth here, and hopefully we can keep growing this into 2020 and beyond. But what I want to do is show you, if we scroll down, you're going to see this top search queries that are driving clicks and impressions to your website. And then what I really want to do is focus on what are the top pages for my website in search results. So if I do that, we're looking at the last 12 months of data, and I'm just going to look at impressions here. So what's driving the most impressions to my website? And the two pages that really stand out to me are these beach theme bedroom ideas and beach theme bathrooms. So on these pages, what I've done is I've curated over 100 designs of beach themed bedrooms or beach themed bathrooms. So to look, take a quick look at these pages. So it's essentially here, 101 beach themed bedroom ideas. And you can see I posted it on August 1st, 2019. So I actually have to go in and update this page. But if I scroll down here, it's just a huge list of a bunch of different designs that I pulled from house.com. So this is beach themed bedroom ideas. For beach themed bathroom ideas, it's the same exact template. This one I recently updated on February 21st. So if we keep scrolling down here, what you're gonna see, 101 beach themed bathrooms, and you can see one, two, three. So these pages get a lot of traffic and they get a lot of organic search traffic as well. So what I'm able to do is use the Google Search Console to see, okay, these are the pages that are ranking the best in Google. If we come over here and look at average position, so my average position for these pages, 13.8 and 14.6, which is really good when I'm getting this many impressions for this page. So now that we have that data, the next thing I wanna do is open Google Analytics, and I'm gonna be looking at two different reports in Google Analytics. So when you have Google Analytics installed on your website, what I'm looking at right now is site content, so we're in behavior, site content, and all pages, and we're essentially looking at which pages on our website get the most page views. Since a lot of my traffic is driven from organic search, you're gonna see here beach themed bathrooms, and then a little bit further down, beach themed bedroom ideas. So these are getting a lot of page views on my website right now, and they're both in the top five of pages on my website. So taking the time to create content like this is clearly gonna help drive additional value to my website. It's gonna help me drive revenue. And then if you just look here at beach themed bedroom ideas, people are spending an average of three minutes and 29 seconds on this page. So they're looking at some of the different designs. And if we come up to the top here, you're gonna see the average time on page for beach themed bathrooms, four minutes and four seconds. So this is both way above average. So essentially what I can see here is if I'm creating content like these different pages, not only is it gonna help my average time on page, but these pages are ranking well in organic search. So what I wanna do next is I wanna find keywords that are gonna be relevant for my business so then I can come up with some content ideas using this template to make sure that I can continue to grow my website in organic search and with my overall search traffic. So what I'm gonna be doing for that is using the Google Keyword Planner. So we have our Google Ads account open here. So this is the ads account I use for all of my tutorials. So what I'm gonna be doing here is clicking on discover new keywords if you're not sure where to find the keyword planner, when you open your Google Ads account, go to tools and settings, and it's gonna be under planning, and you're gonna see keyword planner. You can also just do a quick Google search, Google keyword planner, and it will be the top result. So we're gonna click on discover new keywords, and what I'm gonna be doing is just entering some of the top keywords for my website. So it's gonna be beach decor, coastal decor, nautical decor, 
and we're gonna be putting ocean decor in there as well. And then just looking at some of these different pages that are driving traffic to my website. So what I'm gonna be doing is coming back over to the Google search console and we'll just use beach theme bedroom ideas for this example. So we're gonna click on this page. When we click on this page, it's gonna show total clicks, total impressions, average click-through rate, and the average position for this page over the last 12 months. So if I keep scrolling down, it's just gonna be this one page here. We're gonna come over here to queries. So if we click on that, it's gonna show the top search terms that are driving traffic back to my website and driving impressions in Google search. So you're gonna see beach theme bedroom, beach bedroom, ocean theme bedroom, beach theme bedrooms. So I can already see if I take ocean theme bedroom and I create its own post for that, I might be able to rank for that keyword as well a little bit better, even though I already have a 2.3 average position, so it's not something I need to focus on too much. But what I can do here is you're gonna see all these different search terms, so beach bedroom, beach theme bedroom. So what I can do is come over here, and maybe what I wanna do is just do beach theme, coastal theme, nautical theme, and ocean theme. And what we're gonna do is just click on get results. Okay, so what it's gonna do is it's gonna give us our top keywords by relevance. You're gonna see beach decor, beach theme, coastal decor, coastal theme. What I wanna do is do by average monthly searches. So I just wanna find some of these top keywords here. So you're gonna see first some of these keywords I provided, but as I scroll down here, beach theme bathroom, so I've already optimized for that keyword. Beach theme bedroom, already optimized for that keyword as well. So as we scroll down, we're just gonna be looking for things like beach theme decor, coastal living room, keep scrolling down. I could use something like nautical wall decor, but I'm gonna skip that nautical theme you're gonna see here. So we're gonna keep scrolling down. So now what we're gonna do is start seeing things like this, beach themed room. So that's a good example of a keyword that I can optimize a little bit better for 2,400 average monthly searches. So if I put together a post of 101 beach themed rooms, hopefully that ranks high in search engines as well. Keep scrolling down. And what we're looking for are similar keywords to the ones that are ranking high beach decor ideas so that's perfect keep coming down and what we're going to see here with 1600 average monthly searches is beach theme living room so that's a keyword that i have not optimized for yet so what i've done is i've gone to my website and i put together an article exactly the same as the other one 101 beach themed living room ideas so now that i have this post it's going to start ranking in Google. And if I come back over here, you're going to see beach theme living room, that keyword by itself gets 1600 average monthly searches. So that means other keywords like beach living room and other variations that are going to be similar to this are probably also getting a lot of average monthly searches as well. So what I've done is I've gone through all these different keywords and I've pulled out things like this ocean theme bedroom, beach theme living room. So essentially keywords that I can use to create these inspirational type posts where I'm coming up with all these different ideas and I'm essentially just listing a lot of different designs that people can look at. So if we come over to 101 beach theme living room ideas, if I scroll down, you're gonna see some of these different living rooms. So I pulled 101. So that seems to be the number that's worked for some of these other posts that I've published on my website. So that's the number I'm gonna to continue to go with. And now what I've done is I've opened up a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet and I have beach ideas, coastal ideas, nautical ideas, and then just some additional ideas over here as well. So essentially now what I have is a bunch of different content ideas and a content template that I know is gonna work to drive traffic back to my website. So using these different content ideas, all I need to do is start creating posts around all these different topics. So 101 beach themed dining rooms, 101 ocean themed bedrooms, and then even over here, 101 nautical nurseries. So a lot of people are looking for nautical nursery designs as they create their own nursery. So creating these inspirational posts is gonna help drive people to my website and ultimately increase my revenue and increase all of my rankings. Because as I create all these different posts, it's gonna help me rank for keywords like beach decor, like coastal decor, like nautical decor. These keywords that are getting around 10,000 searches per month, the higher I can rank for them, the more and more traffic I can drive back to my website. So if I come back over here to the Google Search Console, what you're gonna see is over the last 12 months, if I'm just looking at my website, I've been able to increase my traffic by about double over the last 12 months from search engines. And as I've ramped up content over here on this website, you're gonna see my clicks from Saturday is 563. So I've been able to keep increasing clicks from Google back to my website by creating these types of blog posts in addition to the product posts that I'm creating. So it's helping me drive more revenue for my business. So it's really that simple. Essentially what you're doing is you're looking for the top pages that are ranking well for your website. And what you wanna do is what can you learn from those pages of content that you created and apply them to new content that you can keep creating on your website. 
So this beach theme bedroom idea is ranking really well. So hopefully I'm going to be able to get this beach living room blog posts ranking well in Google as well. I can start sharing this on social media. People tend to click on these well with social media too because people would rather look at some inspirational posts like this than individual product posts. Now the last thing I want to do is go over Google Analytics. So you can also, in addition to this behavior, site content, and all pages, you can come over to acquisition. And what we're going to be doing is looking at all traffic and channels. So as you can see, the majority of my traffic is coming from organic search. So what I'm going to do is click on organic search. So we're looking at all of the traffic from organic search. And what we can do is look at our top landing pages. So it's going to be really similar to what we're seeing in Google Search Console. But with Google Analytics, it'll also pull in data from search engines like Bing.com, like Yahoo.com. And what you're going to see is my total users for these two pages is the most from organic search. So I know that I have to continue to optimize for those types of keywords, creating those types of pages, and continuing with that strategy so I can keep driving that additional traffic to my website. And if you don't have something really obvious like this, the other thing I can show you is if we come over to Google Search Console, and let's just say I want to look at farmhousegoals.com. So we're going to click on farmhouse goals here. And what you can see is over the last 12 months, I've been able to increase my traffic with really a good spike here during the holidays. And the reason I had a good spike during the holidays is because I put together a bunch of different Christmas decor related articles and I tie them all together. So you can see farmhouse Christmas ornaments, right on Christmas, farmhouse Christmas signs and wall decor, farmhouse Christmas stockings. So all of these different pages help me drive additional traffic back to my website. And in my topic clusters video, I went over how I created a topic cluster for farmhouse Christmas decorations. And you can see it helped drive a lot of traffic back to my website for all of these different categories during the month of December. And now this is something where these pages are already ranked in Google. They started to get some backlinks. So what I can do is next year during the holiday season, maybe a little bit earlier in October, I can go back and I can update all of these different pages. And I'm already going to have some pretty good rankings here. You're going to see I had a 21st position for farmhouse Christmas ornaments. So maybe I can increase that position a little bit for all of these different keywords that are driving traffic for that individual page. So this is a good strategy. And basically with farmhouse goals, what I learned is creating these topic clusters where I have a page with farmhouse Christmas decorations and then all of these subtopics that help drive additional traffic for that individual topic of farmhouse Christmas. Now, when it comes to beachfront decor, I've gotten a lot of traffic for my bedding pages. So that's something I've looked to improve for my topic clusters there. And I can also apply these types of blog posts here to my farmhouse decor website because it's basically the same thing. It's just instead of beach decor, it's farmhouse decor. So the Google search console will give you a lot of different ideas. And basically what you want to do is look at your top pages, what's ranking, what's driving traffic back to your website, and then use that as a template for your new content and focus on some of these top keywords that you can find in the Google keyword planner to continue to improve for all of these different keywords that are driving traffic back to your website. So if you have any questions about this process, please leave them in the comment section. Pretty simple. Once you start creating content, see what ranks, use that and to guide your upcoming content strategy and create similar content around different keywords and different topics that you know is going to help you rank higher in organic search and drive a lot of this traffic back to your website. So again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.